Hello, my name is Julie Fletcher, and I'm here to present on my survey of technology assignment. Um, I've chosen to choose the topic of telehealth. Um, the background for this for me um, comes from the emergency department. When I worked there, we had a telehealth uh, technology device that would go see patients that were in an active stroke. Um, but since then, I've become an RN, and I've decided to work in obstetrics or birth center. So I thought I'd look into something that's a little bit more related to my type of work. So just a brief overview of what telehealth is. Uh, telehealth is the use of electronic communications that provides um, health access for patients. So essentially, physicians and healthcare providers can see their patients via either email, live video conferencing, mHealth, which would be mobile health, remote patient monitoring, or through online health information, they can share different uh, information on certain educational things they want to review with their patients. Uh, I found a couple articles on telehealth, uh, one specifically more in the OB direction. It was written by um, Doug Bronk. Uh, who actually is part of the OBGYN news. Um, he had written an article essentially mentioning the using of telemedicine to improve maternal safety. In this article, it's less about educating patients and using telehealth, but more about the education between providers, where the study was kind of taken place in Utah with 15 different hospitals. Utah has a very rural population, so it was kind of hard for the physicians to get more evidence-based knowledge out there in realm of postpartum hemorrhage. So essentially, he wrote about the changes in postpartum hemorrhage um, like data sets, I guess to say. Um, so more he tried to reach out and give evidence-based treatments and like a data set for these hospitals to, to follow in the rural communities. The use of audiovisual technology um, is a great way to connect health providers um, and specifically for this obstetric bundle, it was a great opportunity to advance the rural communities and get them more up to date on evidence-based practice as it relates to dealing with severe postpartum hemorrhages. Uh, I also did a kind of extensive research through different uh, websites and I found a lot of universities, different states are kind of reaching out to more of the telehealth as it relates to OB and prenatal care, um, specifically the Medical University of South Carolina. Uh, they talk about the implementation of telehealth to increase patient outcomes. Uh, they're better able to reach out to their patients mostly in rural areas. Um, and especially with telehealth, you're able to give these patients specialty care um, that is, you know, for high risk pregnancies especially. Um, but it saves not only the medical facility money, but it saves the patient money as far as commuting and travels to go see these specialists every once in a while. It also, in my opinion, helps with compliance. Uh, patients are probably more likely to pop up a video conference or email a doctor and get health information that they need or access to health care. Uh, overall, I think that telehealth is an excellent thing. And with more advancements in this technology, I think we can really improve prenatal care as far as decrease some of the risks associated with high-risk pregnancies. Hopefully, patients, or when it, we're able to implement this in the OB setting, um, we can have patients that are more compliant, especially when it comes to high blood pressure in pregnancy, uh, maybe drug use, I think that Telehealth will help with early intervention with some of these high health risks. Uh, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully we'll consider telehealth um, in our facilities here locally.